So, Margot, this is your second film as a producer. It was actually my first. Your first? We shot this two and a half years ago. Oh, right, so it was before I It was I before Tanya. Tanya. Tanya came out first, and this came out, obviously, now, but uh, that technically was the, the first okay. time. So producing is something that you're getting into increasingly, yes. though. What's, what's the appeal? Is it something that, that complements acting, or does it give you something that acting doesn't? Both. It, I, it, comp it actually works hand-in-hand hand with acting more than I assumed it would. I thought it would be more of a conflict of interests, trying to split myself between the two roles, but actually I feel like it made me better at each job being so involved and it does give me something that I don't get just from acting is it, you know feeling like oh that's that's our project as opposed to I got to be a part of someone's project you, you kind of when you're there from the inception of the idea to the development to the pre-production obviously and production you're there as an actor anyway post-production marketing distribution all that kind of stuff you live with it for years <laughs> and after years it's like your baby and and um, you know you have a you know, greater sense of ownership over it, and therefore a greater emotional investment. I think. And so, would you see yourself in the director's chair? Yeah, I'd like. To, I think at this stage, I would like to direct one day. Not not yet, not for a while, but I would like. But it's to. coming. Yeah, yeah, it's coming. So, what what was the the appeal of Terminal, especially as it was your first film as a producer? I really wanted to do a play at the time, and I read it. I guess I read it like three and a half years ago. I guess. Um, and I really wanted to, no, four years ago I read it. Um, I, I really wanted to do a play at the time. And um, it read just so different to, you know, feature screenplays in that there was, you know, nine page dialogue scenes and this banter and it was, you know, just odd and weird and wonderful and dark and funny. And, and I, I always liked that mixture anyway, the dark and the, and the comedy. Um, but it was, yeah, it, it was just very unusual and, I, and I, I loved that there was a chance to really have dialogue, a lot of it. And look, looking at the films that you've done in the past and all the projects that you've got coming up, you seem to go for a huge variety. Very different films, very different roles and indeed producing just adds another element to it. And yet, actually, coming up, you've got as many as four films where you're playing the same character which of course is Harley Quinn. Well, yeah, I know they kept uh, <laughs> announcing different What's versions. What's the fascination with Harley I know, Harley everyone's Quinn. like, which one is it? Uh, no, now we've, uh, I've, I've been developing a Harley Quinn um, film and that's the one that we're going into production on. So, um, I so is think that Birds of Prey? That's Birds of Prey. And that's and the I, one you're producing? Yes, yes. The other ones I'm not a producer on, so I haven't been involved in the development and I don't know... Um, where they stand at the studio, if they'll go, when they they'll go. And so all this that is very much outside of the sort of DC universe. I mean, it's it's definitely DC still, but it's um, it's different to the the usual. You know, it's much smaller budget than comic book films normally work at. Um, it's going to be R rated, which uh, has. So when know, do you get started on that? Hopefully January. Yeah, I mm. know. It's been it's been a long time since I played Harley. I'm really excited to play her again. Exciting. We'll yeah. look forward to it. Margot, yeah. thank you very much. Thank indeed. you so much.